Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I've been working with the Helltech Mesh Node T114. It's basically a mesh tastic compatible with a GPS and a case. And today we're going to assemble the case. So, yeah, first off, I want to make sure the antenna's attached. So, we're going to go ahead and mount the antenna mount onto the case first. You want to get that little lock washer on there. Yeah, okay. Now let's get this into position in the case. It's kind of small for my big hands. <laughs> you know, after a couple of cups of coffee, I'm probably filming this at 5 a.m. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll have to bear with me here a little bit. It is very compact. Okay, the other lock washer. Get that nut on there and we're going to tighten that up. Okay, that's, that's hand tight, so let's get our pliers now. Where's my pliers? Yeah, yeah, they're over there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you don't want that loose, you know. If you want to change antennas and stuff, you don't want that loose. You want that nice and tight, always. And I just want to square that in the case because I want to make sure there's enough room for the battery. So we'll get this square. That leaves like a little space underneath that antenna mount where the battery might have some room to stretch out a little bit. There we go. Attach the antenna. And that's going to fit just like that. It's hard to see. There's no light. Get your hands out of the way there, guy. And you want that wire to go up underneath. And yeah, let's put the antenna on. Yeah, because once you hook the battery, this thing's going to just fire right up. And you want to have an antenna attached while it's operating. Don't want to risk burning out the little chip. I really struggled getting the GPS unit in here. This, Like I say, this case is very, very compact. And I... I, I, I actually ordered another case and another GPS unit because I've got two of these T114 mesh nodes. And I want, I, want, I just want to try it again <laughs> and see if I can do it better. Uh, yeah, it's like, it, it was, it was, it's a struggle trying to get the wires folded. The problem is the battery, the wires, and getting everything in so that you can close the case. You want to make sure the case naturally closes all the way. You can't force it because the screws are very tiny. I actually stripped out one of the screw holes. Um, I, I think that that's probably the one thing I would critique is the screw holes. Yeah, so that battery is just a little too thick. It's over 10 millimeters. Let's see what's going to fit in here. So I got 30.6 millimeters width and about, what is that, 40 almost 42 millimeters long. So we look at these numbers, that 60 is six millimeters thick, the 30 is 30 millimeters by 40 millimeters. And that's the 800 mAh battery. And this 1000 mAh battery is eight millimeters thick by 30 millimeters by 40 millimeters. So that explains those numbers that you see there. And this is the 1000 mAh, it's eight millimeters thick by 30 by 40. I went ahead and bought both of these in case this one was too thick then I could fall back to the 800 milliamp hour lipo battery. Can't hurt to have a little extra battery here and in there. Yeah you can see the polarity is correct there so that's good. You, know, you want the uh, red on the left and the black on the right there. So we go ahead and plug it in and of course right away this thing's gonna fire up now. Yeah, there it goes. Now, re remember we learned if you hold down the program button, it will shut down. It actually didn't display shutting down this time, and it kind of confused me. But then you'll see the green light light up really bright, and that'll tell you it's shutting down. Yeah, see, there it goes. It's shutting down. 
just that one time it didn't display shutting down but every other time i do that it says shutting down and then the green light flashes and off it goes all right so we've kind of, kind of got everything wired together here and so the question is can we get it all to fit together which way do i want to orient this battery Yeah, see, I had the GPS like that with the antenna facing in, and I actually, it was really, it took a long time. I actually never got a fix. So I wanted to get that antenna facing out, and I got to figure out how to, how to fold the wire to get that antenna facing out. I think if I flip it down and have the, that jack on the bottom of the GPS unit, because I wound up actually twisting the wires to get the uh, antenna facing out. But the next one I want to try folding it the other way, you know, get the wires facing down with the antenna facing the bottom, and then just fold the wires really tight. Yeah, I, had, I struggle with these little buttons too. Yeah, I managed to get the buttons in there. Yeah, they just float, so you have to be careful when you put the case together that not to lose the buttons. There we go. And you can see this one closed no normally here. It naturally closed. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So now we can go ahead and screw the case shut. We'll fire up Meshtastic there. Yeah, I just laid it on top of there so it wasn't pushing the buttons while I drive the screws in. There we go. You need a really, really small screwdriver. Yeah, I'm just not used to hardware this small or a case this compact. I always like a little wiggle room. So it's easier for me to manipulate with my hands and stuff. But it is a nice case. I really do like it. Uh, it's just I need to learn how to utilize it better. Okay, we got all the screws in there. Very good. Yeah, that's the one that fell out. But it stays closed. It's in good shape here. And we can push that button and toggle through the various screens. Get to the end. We see no satellites there. And no satellites at the top. And then one more click and no GPS lock. So we'll wait it out a little bit. So when I finally saw the GPS started working, we took it out on the road. You can look up those uh, coordinates. It's not my house. <laughs> see if you can figure out where I'm at. And what's cool about having a GPS is you can see how far away the other nodes are and what direction they are. I set the display so north is always at the top. And so you, you want to ask how long that 1000 mAh battery lasts. I fired this up about 8 a.m. on uh, Friday and I woke up Saturday morning at 5 a.m. and it was still running and I checked and there was 20% uh, charge left. So it could run potentially all day on that 1000 mAh battery. That's pretty cool. Yeah, here's another location. Go ahead and look up those coordinates and figure out where I'm at. Okay, well check down below for the links to the product page for the Helltech Mesh Node T114, and I'll also link to the batteries for your information. And go ahead and give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Mesh Node T114 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.